welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. Now, I did this vase quite a while ago. And if you haven't seen how I did this vase, then check out the video. I'll link it at the end of this one. I know it's May, but I'm missing the brightness of my Christmas trees. <laughs> what I've done is I've got some willow. And these are, this has been willow with the bark stripped off. And they come twice as long as this, but I've cut them right down. And what I'm going to do is suspend this willow in this vase like this and then have some lights on it to brighten up the room. I don't want it to be straight, I want it to be bendy. But not all the way down towards the top. And here's a piece I did a test on the other day and it's worked really, really well. So I'm gonna show you what I did to do this with. To be able to bend these without snapping them, they will snap if you do them like this. Look, and no one wants that, I want them a nice neat bend. I'm going to soak the ends that I've got here in water, but not the ends that I don't want to twist, because there's no point in soaking those. They will need to be soaked probably for about two or three days until I feel that they're bendy enough. I'm putting them in this tray, then I will put one of my good old weights on top of them like that. That should hold them in the tray. And then all I need to do is fill this tray right up with water so that it's covering the whole of the willow that I want to be soaked and leave that somewhere safe where I'm not gonna knock it over, which is probably nowhere. So I will probably knock it over for about two or three days. So we'll come back to that when I'm ready to twist them. It's very easy to do. These pieces of willow have been soaking now for a couple of days and they are quite nice and flexible. I just need to find things to put them round. So what I've done is I've found anything that I've got that's a bit rounded in shape and I'm going to clamp them on. There's probably a much better way to do this, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to clamp them on there and then I'm going to twist this round slowly to start with because I don't want to absolutely destroy these. And this should, as you can see, bend around the shapes like that. And then once I've got it onto where I want it, clamp that so it doesn't move, and then put it outside to dry. It probably will only take a couple of hours to dry. And I've got all sorts of things to go around. I've got this here, which is just a piece of cardboard pipe, but it's quite a thick piece. So this should go around there quite easily. Yep, that's fine. and then hold that end into place. And now I'll leave that to dry. So I'm gonna carry on doing the rest of them. And then once they're all dry, I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. These have been drying in the sun for about four hours now. And I think they're dry enough. Some of them I taped down so that I could start on the others. Because I've got about 10 of them, I think. They've all come out really well. Look at that one. Let's have a look at this bigger one around my tube. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's come out really well. And this is exactly the same method that I used when I made that 3D wall hanging picture. And if you haven't seen that video, then check it out. I'll, list, I'll link it at the end of this one to see how I made a wall hanging. And you can get these to go around some quite small pieces, as you can see with this piece of dowel. And that has come out really nicely. I want them all to be different shapes and sizes. That's why I've put them around different things. And I've also got some smaller ones here that I already took apart. They're starting to look quite nice because when I put them together, they're gonna have a little bit more interest. I've got five more that are still drying because I did them a little bit later. So as soon as they're all dry, then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next and how I'm gonna attach the light and how I'm gonna stop these moving around in that vase. These are the lights I've chosen to put on the willow in the vase. I really like them. In fact, they make a lovely little noise when they knock together, but they're not gonna be knocking together. I love the detail in them and they weren't expensive at all. I'm gonna have to work on the floor here to be able to get it into the film because I wanna use both cameras. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this to start with is put some sand in there. Now that's for two reasons. One, it will give this quite a lot more stability, be a lot heavier, and two, it'll allow me to push these willow sticks into it and keep them in position. And this is just playground sand that I'm using here. It's quite a soft little sand. It's one that I use in quite a few different projects. And I always have some in the studio. And that has made quite a big difference to that vase now. It's going to be a lot more stable in that living room than if it didn't have that in there. Because normally we'd have water or something in a vase 
to make it stable if you've got flowers and things in it. And now what I'm going to do is push my willow sticks into this sand until I get it into the position that I want it. And they've really come out nice. I'm so pleased with them. They're all different shapes, which is what I tried to aim for. I was contemplating painting these or spraying these gold or white. And actually I decided I really like the natural colour of them. That's why I, I decided to keep them the natural colour. I could change that my mind about that at any given time. And they may one day be a different colour. See how much easier that has been. I can push those right the way down and they're staying in position rather than just letting them spread out. And they're likely to keep this position as well. And they were so easy to make, as you saw. Do you like my new haircut, by the way? If I'm not happy with those at any time, all I have to do is change them up and move them around. Now, if any of the bulbs go in these lights, they do come apart like that. And all you need to do is push them back together and give them a bit of a twist and then they'll hold back in place and you can change the bulb. I want to put these on there so they don't slip and slide around and how I'm going to do that is by using my hot glue gun. Decide where I want to put them. So the first one I'm going to put here like that and hanging, hanging down there like that a little bit. Pop a little bit of glue on there, not too much, I don't need too much. And then I can glue those wires into it like that. And the next one's going to go on there. And then I'm going to follow it around like that. And once they're all on there, what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like in situ in my living room. This is it all nice and finished and it absolutely looks great in here. I love it. My living room is such a tiny. <laughs> There's all some of the other bits and pieces that I've made on there. So my cement pots and things. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. They're really easy to make. I'm loving the way this is lighting up in the living room. And it really makes me feel quite cheery and it makes me not miss the Christmas tree. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know what you think. And don't forget to boop that like button as well. It really does help my videos to get out there. And if you want to get hold of anything that I've used today in this video, then the links for that and the link to buy me a coffee can be found in the description below. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.